a free sampler that has time stretch. Oh man, it's over with. So in this video, we are checking out momentum that is made by Big Fish Audio, which is probably one of the legendary sample library creators out on the market. I used to buy a lot of their stuff for a hundred dollars way back in the day. And I mean, way back in the day. We're gonna check it out in this video. It's for both Windows and Mac. And I wanna hear from you guys in the comments section. Will you check this out? Because boy, oh boy, a lot of us bought Serato sample, including me. And now that this is out on the market, man, I'm happy for those who waited. I'm just saying. So when you click on the link in the description box, it will take you to the Momentum website, which is by Big Fish Audio. Uh, shout outs to Big Fish Audio, they are legends. But other than that, uh, it is for Windows and Mac, so download for PC is Windows and download for Mac is for Mac, so just click on either or. And just to let you know, by the way, it does have time stretch, so we're gonna check that out in this video and then I'll weigh it with my hot takes, I guess. I mean, it's free, so who gives a shit? So after downloading it, it will go into your downloads folder. It doesn't matter if it's on the Mac or not, or on Windows or not, because I have both a MacBook and a Windows laptop. So yeah, it, it will it won't matter. So uh, again, you know, simple process here. Just accept the agreement here, install it. Make sure that you take heed to which folder it installs into, so that you don't get it twisted or anything like that. For me, it's on my C drive, program files, VSD plugins, Big Fish Audio, so that's good enough for me. And I'm gonna hit install, and it's gonna go through the process here, and I'll be back shortly. It's done, I'm gonna click finish, then I'm gonna pull up my DAW of choice, which I'll use FL Studio this time, because we all know that Fruity Slice X is trash, and <laughs> this is gonna help with this. So I have FL Studio open. What I'll do is just go over here to manage plugins, and once the managed plugin screen pulls up, I'll be able to do something. I'm waiting on it. Uh, there we go. It's over a thousand something plugins I have, so that's why it took so long. Uh, just press find more plugins. Uh, if you have to, just adjust your plugin search paths and to wherever it was installed. It normally does that by itself, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait for it to uh, find the plugin and we'll move forward. All right, so the process is done. I'm just gonna go over here to where it says find and type in momentum. Uh, and just by typing in mom, uh, shout out to you mother, I love you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and start that up real quick. And now I have momentum in my plugin. So let's create a channel real quick and take a look at it and see what it looks like. So after all that, I found momentum and now it's loading up. It's taking a little bit of a second here. Oh, so you do have to sign up. Uh, I take it back. Well, guys, you gotta sign in. So I'm gonna make an account to so sign up over here. I'm gonna hit sign up and then go for it. So I'm on the website now. I'm gonna fill out this information. Uh, all I did was just go up to the top right of the screen where it says login and register and clicked on that and then clicked register. So let's go through that again so you guys can see. Uh, create account. Let's create that account and let's go. So I made an account and once you log in, it looks like this. So let's go over here into the plugin itself and then put that in as well. Now everything is good to go. Let's just find a sample. Let's go and make this easy. I'm not gonna use a sample that you have to chop up or anything like that. Something a perfect loop or something like that. And that should be good. So far, I have this going on right here. It says uh, drop samples and kits here. I dropped the sample and let's see what how you would do that. So from here, I see that you have mixer and then you have slice. So let's look at slice and see what it did. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna test out is yes. So you can uh, use two finger gestures to zoom in and zoom out from your chops or whatnot. So I noticed you have a couple of modes here. You have speed, one times, two times. Then you can go into grids here. You can do a one-fourth grid chops. 
Uh, you can do triplets and so forth. So you have that type of grid locking. So if I want 16 chops, you can do that. Uh, let's do half. It's kind of confusing, but from, from what it's worth, um, I see the appeal in it. Uh, you have stretch mode, it looks like. So one thing I noticed about this is it does tell you like the key of the sample, but the sample itself, it already has the key at the end of the name. So uh, it doesn't seem to feel natural, but like I'm hitting the key. So I don't know if it's because latch. All right, so I just turn off latch, so. One thing I've noticed is that you can move the slice mapping. So that's pretty cool. So if you're paying attention to the bottom left side of the UI, you can see I'm moving it up in the octave. So let's try that out. those two uh -huh. I like it so one of the other things that I noticed like by watching some of the videos uh, you have the opportunity to change like a chop like you can change it with stutters so I what I want to do is try to apply a stutter here. So if you want to apply like this stutter effect right here, because that's one of the things I like about momentum versus like, you know, output arcade or, or chromatic one being free is you can change the effects. So, so you can see that I'm adding stutters in there. So the more you increase it, the more stutters, I believe. Let's, let's play that back. So I want to put a stutter right there. So let's see, I'll, I wanted to see if you can do this per layer. Oh, that's cool. Let's go lo-fi. So you can uh, add stuff in there at the least your soul. This is actually dope. What the fuck is this doing being free? Holy shit. And also I saw a mode here. So you can boomerang or shot. Tell me how you feel about this video. I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section. Uh, will you check out Momentum? I mean, it's a free plugin that I, I wish you didn't have to register the Big Fish Audio, but I think that's a fair exchange seeing that it is pretty strong. Uh, there's a whole bunch of free samplers out right now that just don't meet up to the level of something like a Serato sample or a Redux which Redux actually does a whole lot more than a Serato sample, but the simplicity of Serato sample is what grasps most people and it's a brand that they can trust. Now you have Big Fish Audio Momentum that is free and yeah, what can I say? Download it, damn it. Boom. <laughs>